Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me and to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. God the will of St. John the Baptist to go ahead of your son, both in his birth and in his death. Grant that as he died a martyr for truth and justice, we too may find hard, fight hard for the confession of what you teach. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son who lives and reigns with you, the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen.
he had an opportunity one day when Herod, on his birthday, gave a banquet for his courtiers, his military officers, and the leading men of Galilee. Herodias' own daughter came in and performed the dance that delighted Herod and his guests. The king said to the girl, Ask of me whatever you wish, and I will grant it to you. He even swore many things to her. I will grant you whatever you ask of me, even to half of my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, What shall I ask for? She replied, The head of John the Baptist. The girl hurried back to the king's presence and made a request. I want you to give me at once on the platter the head of John the Baptist. The king was deeply distressed, but because of his hopes and guests, he did not wish to break his word to her. So he promptly dispatched an executioner with orders to bring back his head. He went up and beheaded him in the prison. He brought in the head on the platter and gave it to the girl. The girl in turn gave it to her mother. When his disciples heard about it, they came and took his body and laid it in the tomb. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. 
takes away the sins of the world. I'm not worthy to even fasten his sandals for us. John was prepared people in a sense by this movement of his so that when he points to Jesus it is the fulfillment of the law of the prophets and of his own movement of repentance and Jesus not only points towards what God wants us to do Jesus becomes the embodiment of what God wants us to be. The man who is without sin, the one who gives his life for the salvation of the world. He shows us that repentance that John is speaking of must lead to love. And love means going outside of myself completely. Laying down my life for the sheep as our Lord did. The less, the less we, the less I concentrate on me and more on the other, the more I actually become the person I'm supposed to be. The person of love. In the figure of Christ. John has a special place in the church. There's only one John the Baptist, the forerunner, as he's called in Eastern Christianity. He is the link, in a sense, between the old and the new, between the law and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us offer our intercessions to our heavenly.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, who through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual fruit.
grant, O Lord, as we celebrate the heavenly birth of St. John the Baptist, that we may revere for what it signifies, the saving sacrament we have received, and even more may rejoice at its clear effects in us, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.